Lake Sacagawea was formed by the Garrison Dam, which is the fifth largest earthen dam in the U.S., and a producer of 3.6 million megawatt hours of electricity annually. Garrison Dam's hydroelectric power plant serves hundreds of thousands of homes with a large percentage of its power serving the metropolitan area of Chicago, Illinois, some 900 miles away. Being a half mile wide at its base and spanning two and one half miles across the Missouri River Basin, the Garrison Project began construction some 65 years ago in the year 1947 and taken until 1954 to fully complete at a then cost of 300 million U.S. dollars. Then another seven years for the reservoir to completely fill with water. Lake Sacagawea is located in west central North Dakota and is the third largest reservoir in the U.S. Lake Sacagawea is 178 miles long, 14 miles wide at its widest point, and has a maximum depth of 180 feet with 1,530 miles of shoreline. The lake was named in honor of a 15-year-old Native American woman, interpreter, and guide by the name Sacagawea, whom traveled with the Lewis and Clark expedition from the year 1804 until 1806. But as early as April 1946, in violation of the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1851, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers entered Fort Berthold Indian Reservation and began enforcing eminent domain laws which forced the removal of some 325 Native American families from their homes and property along the Missouri River Basin upstream of the would-be Garrison Dam. But in 1947, the three affiliated tribes accepted over $5 million offered to them by the U.S. Congress and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Also part of the Garrison Dam project is the National Fish Hatchery, where fish eggs spun by wild fish are brought to the hatchery to be incubated and grown before being released into other water projects in North Dakota, as well as other regions of the U.S. The National Fish Hatchery also produces the ancient pallet sturgeon, the paddlefish, and burbot that are a prehistoric fish species that has changed very little since the Triassic era some 200 million years ago. Marvin Carter, OCAT 1959 News, Riverdale, North Dakota.